What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry, but I am wearing the same hoodie as I was wearing in yesterday's video that was uploaded, the Among Us mod video if you wanna check that out. Pre-recording the videos all for next week because my mom is coming to visit for a week so I am just filming all day. So if you see the same outfit in a few videos, mind your business. I feel like I've been doing a lot of mod overviews and just mod videos in general on this channel channel. I've really just been heavy back into gameplay and I love mods so that's just what I've been doing lately. Haven't really been looking for new custom content pieces. That was until I realized that I have collectively downloaded a lot of new like functional appliance items and I'm doing air quotes because this video is going to be a CC showcase of some functional appliances as well as some items that aren't really like appliances but they're used like in the house and some of them have to do with food anyways you'll see what i'm talking about if you like videos like this don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you get notified every time i post a new video and let's go ahead and get into it Okay, everybody, so we are here in the game. It is a gloomy day in Newcrest. Uh, I am playing actually with the Wright family, and the Wright family is a family made specifically by Ocean Sims here on YouTube. Love you, girl. Um, she made this family, and it's been showcased by the Sims social media accounts. It's also in your like little launcher thing at the beginning. She made this family for Black History Month, and I love them. I have put them up in this house by Devin Bumpkin, um, the Ralston residence from his Let's Build the World series. Now that we have a little introduction out of the way, um, the first items that I want to show you, we're going to go ahead and maneuver back to the um, outdoor garden grill area. It looks like Jason over here is already using our first item. Our first item is by Necrodog. He has been featured in my Kitchen Essentials video for his like toaster mods and stuff like that. But he has made these countertop grills. They come in two different flavors. You have the simple countertop grill and the carbonate countertop grill. And I just love these. They are grills that slot into any counter and I just love them. I feel like we do not have enough grills in the game, obviously, especially grills that fit into outdoor kitchens we only really have this one that came with outdoor stuff i'm not really sure we don't really have any that fit seamlessly in with counters so this is just amazing i love this i love the simple one as well i just put this one down it has like a little lip on it so it looks like it was added into the counter so i like that it does come in some different swatches as well and the cool thing about this this mod actually comes with some new recipes i'm gonna go ahead and get these grilled plantains out of the way the recipes that were added were recipes that we already had in the game but now you can cook them on a grill i'm just gonna read them off of the page you get spaghetti mac and cheese chili cioppino um, spaghetti french toast egg toast grilled cheese sandwich, fish and chips, blackened bass, pancakes, omelet, chicken stir fry, scrambled eggs, pan fried tilapia, fish tacos, and gummy bear pancakes. So you can cook a lot of the recipes from the kitchen, like the normal stove on the grill now, which is really awesome. And I just love these. It looks really seamless in your outdoor grills. I'm actually going to change the weather to sunny so we can see. Okay, it is getting sunny in here. But yeah, that is the um, counterfeit grill by Necrodog and the next item over here this item is by Ten Tech Technica on Mod The Sims and they are under counter refrigerators but you will see that every EA refrigerator has been shrunken down to fit under the counters I especially like this clear version it's a version of the um like what's word I'm looking for commercial refrigerator I love this one for outdoor grills with the glass on the front but yeah every single refrigerator comes in a smush down version so I love these so much and they fit so seamlessly and I really like that and it looks really good it doesn't look like smashed or anything it looks like the refrigerators are supposed to look like that which I really appreciate and they still function like plain old refrigerators so this is another really awesome item that you should check out my next item is over here, and this is the Rustic Clay Oven, also by Necrodog. Necrodog has a lot of really cool custom functional appliances. 
I don't know if you remember, but with The Sims 3, it was the Monte Vista like store set where it came with like the world and everything based off of Italy. Um, it came with a pizza oven and that was one of my favorite objects. It was so cool. So this just works like a normal oven. You can cook whatever food you want to in here, but technically it's a pizza oven. When you click on it, you're going to notice you have new options for bake pizza or bake a mini pizza, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and bake a pizza. This mod comes with a bunch of new pizza recipes. So you have eggplant, vegan, cheese, tomato and spinach, tomato and mushroom, shrimp, Moroccan, ground beef, buffalo chicken, pepperoni, bacon, egg, Mexican, Hawaiian, veggie, Canadian bacon, and vegan margarita pizza. So a lot of different pizzas. I personally love breakfast pizza. I love like egg on my pizza. It's really good. Don't knock it till you try it. We're going to have Jason come out here and make a pizza in our new brick oven. And he is just so damn focused on these countertop grills, I swear. But he actually got the food out of our new refrigerator I just showed off. And I love how I'm like, oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, because it's 10 o'clock at night. But the show must go on, okay? Um, like I said, I've been pre-filming. This is the fourth video that I filmed today. So no tea, no shade, but I'm so ready to stop filming. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna put it in the oven. I like how there actually is an animation. This little window comes down and whatnot. And now the pizza's done and he very sanitarily puts it on the floor. And look at it. I love the little egg in the middle. And yeah, I just, I love this mod for pizzas, you know, put it outside on your deck and have like a little pizza party and make pizzas. I think this, I love this, it's so cute. And I love that these mods by Necrodog and these other creators, they are coming with custom recipes. You guys know I did a video all about my favorite custom recipes. And I just love food, especially custom food in The Sims. And I love seeing the different recipes and the different graphics that come with these mods. It's really, really cool. While we are back here in the garden, I'm actually going to change Okay, so I went ahead and jumped ahead to the next day because it was just too dark and I couldn't deal with it. Uh, our next object is actually by the creator. I am not sure. There is no creator name in the description, but you guys know me. The links will always be down below. This creator has made a cotton candy machine and it is so cute and it also is functional, of course. If we come over here, we can buy cotton candy and you will have a whole bunch of custom options. And okay, these are by Ice Mun Mun. They make a lot of the custom recipes that were featured in my other recipe video, but you will just have a bunch of different colored cotton candies you can choose from that are new custom recipes. So let's just go ahead and get a pink one. And it'll say, thanks for ordering. The cotton candy Jamal purchase can be found in his inventory. Here it is, and now we are just going to eat it. You get a little moodlet after. I remember this little icon from The Sims 3. It says, playful pink from eating pink cotton candy. The pink yummy candy floss is what dreams are made of. The eternal favorite of the young and young at heart Sims. So I also like that you get different um, moodlets depending on the color. So let's go ahead and buy a blue one and go ahead and eat it. Okay, so... <laughs> The blue one actually made him blue, and it says bubbling blues from eating blue cotton candy. Cool, sticky blue candy floss can give you bubbling confidence. It may also turn you a little blue. Oops. So that is really cool. I'm actually really curious now to see what the black one or the charcoal one is going to do to us. Let's go ahead and eat this one. So we just like turn into smoke. I'm not really sure. Uh, it says that it tastes like um, charcoal. Hot, sticky, charcoal-flavored candy floss is the newest fad. It is questionable, though, whether newest fads equate superior taste. And where is the smoke coming from? So this is a really cool, fun mod. One thing that I really like about this mod is that you have to buy it. So it's really cool to put on, like, festival lots or something, like how we used to have in The Sims 3. One thing that I find with some mods that generate food like this in the game is that when you put them on community lots, the food is free. So I do like that you have to buy it so it can be a really cool thing to have you know kids at the festival go and get it you know mom can i go get cotton candy please so i love little things like this since we are on the subject of candy i have found a creator that has made all of these candy machines and dishes and that creator is ice mun mun again and these again are really cool and they work just like the cotton candy machines so you have four different variations you have like a dish and then more of like the jars and then a candy machine 
green. And when you click on any of these, you have the option to buy candy or buy a sugar skull. So let's go ahead and buy some candy. Again, I like that you can buy it. So these are really cool to put in the front of grocery stores and whatnot. So you can get a piece of candy on your way out if you're shopping with your sim parents. I think that's a really cute idea. But you have all these new custom candy recipes as well. Um, everything will be linked down below. This is going to be a separate like package that you have to download in conjunction with the candy dishes. And then all these will show up. So we have like some spooky candy, candy worms, candy fudge, gummy bears, jelly beans, peppermint swirls, all that stuff. So let's just get a few different types. I love gummy worms so much so we're just going to get all the gummies because i love gummies and then let's just go ahead and buy a sugar skull too and see what that's about the sugar skulls look like this um we'll just get one so now that we have a sweet tooth and all this candy in our inventory let's go ahead and eat some of it see what kind of moodlets we get with that we only have a moodlet that says gummy bear very nice candy let's go ahead and eat the candy worm and again, we get another playful moodlet. Colorful and wiggling, would you eat that? So you just get a playful moodlet when you eat the candy. I do want to see what happens when I eat the sugar skull though, because I'm sure it comes with some crazy um, moodlet. And from that, we got a confident moodlet from eating sugar skull, eight sugar skulls. So pretty straightforward. Again, really small, kind of insignificant to, you know, gameplay, but still cute nonetheless. I think it'll look cute, like I said, in the stores. Or if you want, you can put the candy dish in the house you will just have to pay for it every time you want to get a piece of candy okay so i am out in the garage really quick for the next item and this the next few items are going to be by ravishing and then the last few items are going to be by around the sims 4 my two favorites on this channel and the first one is this new recycling bin it's called the home recycler bin by ravishing and i love this item so much it's not really an appliance but you know it's a home good it's a home item so i included it basically what this does if you have eco lifestyle you will need eco lifestyle to download this um eco lifestyle comes with this recycling machine but it's huge and it's really the only way for you to recycle in the game and it's really really annoying i don't like it at all it, it's really hard to fit it in with gameplay everyday family gameplay so ravishing has retextured it to just look like a recycling bin which i think is really amazing and when we click on it you'll have an option for recycling just like the recycler from eco lifestyle and you can get recycle bits pieces or recycle things from your inventory and and I think that's really cool. You don't have to have that big monstrosity. Um, I guess we can just recycle some of our candy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, she's going to come over and the new animation, it just works like a trash can and she will recycle and get her bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure she got a few. Barely at all. I don't think she got any. But I love that. It takes up a much smaller footprint than that big recycler that we have from Eco Lifestyle. And this is definitely a necessity in my game. I actually feel like I use the recycling and like the freaking traits a lot more now that I don't have to fit this huge like crushing machine in my Sims' homes. Okay, so we're going to finish up the rest of the items in the kitchen. The rest of these items are going to be true appliances and, well, actually I lied. They're just items in the kitchen. So the first one by Ravishing is the counterfeit stoves. I love these so much. Basically, like the grills, they are ovens and stoves that slot into counters. So if we take it out, you know, it looks like this and we put it in. It's such like a subtle difference, but it looks so seamless. So if I pull out the original oven for this one, okay, this one, and let's just put it up next to it. It just, it doesn't look the same. You know, the counters, especially with the parenthood counters and the little lip right here, the ovens never fit perfectly in line with the counters. So with this oven, you do not have to worry about that. And it comes in three flavors. You get the oven from Snowy Escape. And then there's the oven. This is, I think, mm -hmm, cool kitchen stuff or base game. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to look for it down here. I'm not seeing it. I don't know. But you get that one as well as the base game countertop one. 
My next item right here by Ravishing is the counterfeit trash cans. I love these. I think these look so good in like fast food restaurants. If you just watched my overview of Little Dicka's Greasy Goods Stuff Pack, these would go really good in one of your Greasy Goods restaurants for sure. But they're just trash cans that fit right into your counters. And to make a really big note, they actually fit on corner counters and outer corner counters and whatnot. And I hate to waste this pizza, but all you do is you just put it in the trash can and it will, you know, turn full or whatever. You can still empty the trash just fine. Like I said, it would look really good in community lot settings. You know, you see a lot of trash cans like this in community lots at like, you know, fast food restaurants and whatnot. So I love those. I got the notification for that. And I was like, is there anything that Ravishing does not do? She's like amazing, literally. She actually sent me the nicest email after watching one of my videos. And it was kind of crazy because like, I fangirl over her so much like I love all of her mods and I'm such a big fan and the fact that she personally reached out to me and emailed me meant a lot to me so thank you so much um I love the little chat that we had so that is that just a little plug love ravishing so much the remaining functional appliances that I have to show you today are from Around the Sims 4, mostly from their Advent 2020 calendar, which was perfection, you guys. If you have not checked it out, go check the whole calendar out. Um, a lot of awesome functional items on there. The first item that we have from the advent calendar are two different functional teapots. Um, this one is an elephant, which I think is so stinking cute. And then we just have a normal glass one right here. Both of these sets actually came with little like tea box trinkets like this one right here and like little bags and stuff. I personally just don't download all the little tiny items because it just takes up space in my game and I don't use them. But I was happy to download these items right here. So they are functional. They work just like the normal tea brewers. Obviously, you can brew a cup of pretty much anything. Is this a custom mod, the Yerba Mate? I've never seen that. I don't know, but we're going to have it. I had it placed on the wrong slot, so we're going to retry this. So she's just pouring it in and she has made it. And she's getting her little glass and i'm pretty sure there are other ones left in here oh no so that's also really cool this is a single brewer like my other ravishing um single cup coffee brewer this is like that so you don't have to worry about having any wasted teas or anything so that's really cool i wonder if this one is the same way let me have someone else come and brew a cup of healthy green okay so it is the same exact way and i don't know if you saw but this will actually fill up when the tea is ready and then when you take it it goes away so the, i had no clue these were single brewers that's really cool uh in my kitchen essentials video i touched on how my sims are always making coffee and tea and wasting it so now i don't have to worry about wasting coffee or tea because i have my ravishing coffee maker and my around the sims 4 tea maker so that is amazing since we are on the subject of drinks um in the advent 2020 calendar there are also these wines and decanters over here and these over here are not functional but they come with servable bottles so we have a bordeaux over here and then we have a Riesling. And if we click on the bottles, you can pour the Bordeaux in glasses and they will show up. So that's really awesome. And the same thing with the Riesling. You just click on it and press pour in glasses and six glasses will show up and you can just drink them and be merry, have a great time. I love that. This reminds me, they have like a lot of mods like this, like the alcohol bottle, little mod, um, the champagne trays. I love mods like this because it doesn't involve having to like buy a bar or learn the mixology skill or even make a drink. It's just kind of instant. So this would be really good to just throw out on the counter at parties and let people just walk up and grab a drink. And if you have base mental, your Sims can uh, get a little tipsy. So that's an added plus. And it comes with little accessories like this, like wine opener and the decanter and stuff those are not functional but the wine glasses are next to our toaster we have our yogurt maker also from around the sims 4 this has really changed the game for like my toddlers i find myself making yogurt a lot for them 
So if you press the yogurt maker, you can just make yogurts and you have caramel, strawberry, natural, or chocolate. Um, let's go ahead and try a strawberry. So she's gonna come over and it will prepare six different yogurts. So I also like that. Um, they do spoil, but if you like, these are all draggable off of this little maker. So you can drag all of these into the fridge. So I think that's really awesome as well. And this is a completely edible, functional um, custom recipe. This is not like a decorative cup of yogurt or anything. I don't know why she has to go in here to eat that, but okay. The last appliance that I have to show you is really exciting and that's why I saved it for last. This one will require Snowy Escape to be functional, but it is the Raclette. I think I'm saying that right, the raclette maker from Around the Sims 4. And it is basically just a retexture of the hot pot from Snowy Escape, but with some new raclette um, recipes. So I'm actually just gonna have the whole family kind of come sit down over here. So when we click on this little raclette thing, you can make a charcuterie raclette or just a normal one. Um, let's do a charcuterie one and we can do it with the whole family. They're all gonna come and sit down. And she has put her little raclette stuff on here. And after a while, after everything has been cooking, they will start grabbing their plates. And um, raclette is just like a melted cheese. And so we have like meats and cheeses and stuff on here. I love the little reimagination of the hot pot for a different kind of region's cuisine. Um, apparently this is a hot uh, cheese board because everyone's mouth is on fire. But I love the hot pot item in general because it's such a way one to force all your sims to sit down to eat together but besides that it is a really good way to kind of get together with everyone see what everyone did at school and work for the day at the end of the day and i think it's really fun i love the custom recipes that come with it i'm gonna go ahead and empty the hot pot so i can show you the other one and this one i'm pretty sure is just without the meat okay yeah so um if we see the other recipe is just the cheeses without the meat on it so yeah, cute little um, retexture of the Snowy Escape Hot Pot. I've been using this to death, one, because I love cheese boards and melted cheese and anything cheese, but two, just because it's a really cute way to get my Sims together, um, just because I kind of have used the Hot Pot recipes that we already have to death. So that was my last item for this Functional Appliances CC Showcase. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for today's video, showcasing some new Functional Appliances that I've been finding over the last few weeks. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item out of today's showcase was. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn notifications bell on, all that jazz. And I will see you guys on Monday with a new video. Bye.